Would you like to have this in your virtual tour? Keep watching and you'll find out how. Hi, I'm Matt, and I am here to tell you about Teleport Me's brand new feature where you can embed a video into your virtual tour using polygons. This thing is amazing. I am so excited about how this works and that there is another option out there other than some uh, really, really high-end, expensive, uh, semi-programmer-required software to do this. It's very, very simple. So follow along and I'm gonna show you exactly how this brand new feature from teleportme.com works. So you might be asking yourself, why do I need to embed video into a virtual tour? Uh, the simple answer to that is, is why wouldn't you? It's unlimited, the amount of things that you can do, the things that you can accomplish, the customization that you can add to your virtual tour by adding video embedded into like a TV screen or onto a door or onto virtually anything. I'm gonna give you an example. You're shooting a, a real estate, show, um, let's say an apartment, a condo, a house, and you take the, the realtor and you record the realtor talking about the property. Well, why not also on top of having that on uh, a property site or a property listing, why not embed that into your virtual tour? So when somebody is cruising around on a virtual tour, checking the property out, Bam, there it is. There's the realtor talking about everything. It's endless. I mean, if you're, let's say, doing a video tour of a business, a nonprofit or something like that, and you're doing a virtual tour of their property or of their, their, their business location, well, you can have their promo video going, you can have their logo going, you can have uh, information videos going, you can have literally anything going at all. So. I'm going to say one thing though, and this is very, very important. In order for this to work, you need to have a video host. YouTube doesn't count. The basic uh, subscription to Vimeo, um, even the like the, the upgraded version of Vimeo, it, it just, it, it doesn't work. You need to have the pro version of Vimeo, which is only $20 per month. And the features that it gives you for doing video editing and whatnot, it's very well worth it. Uh, if you didn't want to spend a $20 a month, uh, there is another option. Another option is using um, AWS from Amazon. You can do S3 hosting with them, and that is actually probably the cheapest, most versatile, and most powerful of video hosting that you could have. And it's not only video hosting, it's limited to. You can, you can run a WordPress site off of it. You can run uh, anything off of it. I mean, to put it to you this way, large, huge corporations run everything off of AWS. So I am not going to show you how to set up an S3 account. I just, it, it's not in the scope of this video. I am going to show you that I'm gonna take it from an S3, put that link into Teleport Me's embedding. Don't let this scare you. Do not let this scare you at all. Um, Amazon S3 is a phenomenal option. It's very, very, very uh, affordable and it's very powerful. So with that being said, let's get on with this and I am going to show you how to do it. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna load up my virtual tour, which I already have pre-uploaded. And let's see, as you can see, it's in low res right now just for editing. I am going to come here and I am going to take and add a new polygon. So you click add polygon and you drag it around by simply clicking on the little black dots in each corner. And you click once and it's gonna drag, you're gonna be able to drag with it. Here we go, I'm just gonna match it up to, perfect. All right, now I am going to need to add, come over here to drop down, and I'm gonna choose video out of the options. I am going to now go over to my uh, S3 video storage. Now I don't have the video up here yet. So I'm going to upload a new video. So while you're in the bucket, choose what you want to send. So I'm going to send this guy here. I'm going to drag and drop and I'm going to click upload. Uploading to AWS sometimes can be a pain and sometimes can be very, very slow. Uh, this is a 30 meg file. As you can see, it's taking longer than it really should, but it's not bad for, for this use right now. So now I'm going to go back 
to my bucket li bucket list and I need to select my bucket and then I need to make it public. If it's not public, it's not gonna work. So make sure that you make it public. As I come here, I select it and I copy the link that they give me. I go back to teleport me here and I paste it in there like that. Now you wanna embed it into the hotspot. You can set it to autoplay if you wanted to, you don't have to. And now I'm gonna preview. All right, and there you go. I had it set to autoplay and this is how it turns out. It is really that simple to do. And no matter where you move, in the panel, it's going to still, it's going to keep the same perspective. Uh, you can control it by simply clicking on it, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. There we go. So I just clicked it and it paused it. And if we double click it, it's going to actually zoom in on the video. Double click it again and it actually goes away. And that is really pretty much it when it comes to adding a, a video to teleportme.com. Pretty simple, pretty easy very, very effective. I want to talk a little bit about Amazon here. Just Google search Amazon S3. It's going to pull up quite a bit of stuff here. As you go into Amazon S3, it's just going to kind of talk about some of the things they have here. Now they do have the free account. Free account is what you would start with. Pricing is actually really, really cheap. It's like 0.23 cents per, per gig. I'm going to show you here. All right, so first terabyte, first 50 terabytes per month is gonna cost you, as you see there, 0 0.023 cents per gig. That's just a little bit over, a, over two pennies, two cents per gigabyte. So let's say, oh here, let me pull up calculator here. Here we go. At 500 gigs in a month, it's only $11.50. If you think about it, 500 gigs of data being transferred is quite a bit and it's only costing you $11.50. If you transfer over a terabyte in a month, then you're looking at about $23. My opinion, it's well worth it for all the features that you have. Amazon S3 works, how AWS works. So now moving on, I'm gonna talk about Vimeo. Vimeo has a lot of features and it's actually a very useful tool. It is a little bit more expensive, but you're looking at $20 per month to give you a very useful tool for doing video editing. Now, the plus doesn't do it. It's not gonna work with embedding into teleportme.com. However, this will, and it's a lot easier to use than Amazon S3. And the main reason for, for it working, as you can see here, you, know, you can embed everywhere just like you can in plus, but the main important factor to Vimeo going with a pro is third party player support. That's is what is allowing teleport me to embed that video into the virtual tour. So it's a very viable option. There's a lot of added features to this that is very useful for somebody who's doing video. And I would suggest either one of these options. And there are probably thousands of other options out there that you can choose from. What they are, I have no idea. <laughs> There's just literally that many of them. Okay, and that concludes our video for today. This should show you just how easy it is to embed a video into teleportme.com and use a very, very effective, viable tool. Thank you for watching and enjoy.